Welcome to Flippin' Rejects with me, Shane Luke. This week, I'm going to be making a floating bottle lamp. Let's we'll see how this one works out. To start off, I'm just cutting a chunk off of this 4x4 post and getting all my pieces together. Here I'm just using some spray adhesive for this template that I'll put on this 4x4 post. And smooth it all out and get ready to cut it on the bandsaw. And while I get this cut out, now would be a good time for you to subscribe to the channel. And now that I got most of it cut out on the bandsaw, I'm using this carving tool on my Dremel to clear out the rest on the insides. This is the first time I've used this and I'm not great at it. Definitely no Bobby Duke arts. Now with that material removed, I can move on to hand sanding. Now this doesn't have to be perfect, so I'm just roughing up the edges a little bit to clean them up. And here I'm just cutting the base. Use a little Danish oil as a finish. We'll be ready to move on. Now with everything looking the way I want it, I'll be able to attach this 2020 to the base. Now with that attached, I'll be able to drill out the center hole. This hole will be drilled out to hold the acrylic rod that will hold all of the weight of the bottle. I have to make a bend in the top part of this acrylic rod, so I have to heat it up and bend it. Once it cools down, it'll be rock solid. Now I can start fishing the LEDs down into the bottle. Here I'm just mixing up some two-part epoxy that I'll use to hold the acrylic rod inside of the bottle. And with that curing, I can move on to tinting this other resin trying to get it as close to the normal shade of the Corona as possible. I think I came close. I'm just pouring it into a smaller squeeze bottle. That way I can use it to squeeze through a straw and go down into the bottle. Now to just let this cure overnight. Here's a quick color check. I think I got pretty close, maybe a little darker. That's all right. Here I'm just mixing up some more epoxy just to add this little lime wedge. Now that all that's cured, I can wrap the acrylic rod with the rest of the LEDs. Here I'll fish all the wire through, pull it out the other side, that way I'll be able to place this acrylic rod down through the center. Use some more epoxy just to drizzle on and secure the LEDs to the acrylic rod. I mixed up a final batch of epoxy to pour over the top and give it the effect that the bottle is just pouring out over the 2020.
Hope you like this video. Leave some comments and go ahead and hit that like button. Hey, hey, everybody. Uh, just uh, sheltering in place with this floating bottle lamp you guys just watched me build. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button. If you really like it, hit that bell. You'll get a notification every time I take another item and flip it into something awesome. Now, I'm not trying to make light of this situation. I'm just trying to make a light. So, stay at home. Let's flatten this curve and get this thing over with quickly. Now, I'm going to be giving away this lamp over on my Instagram page. Uh, so follow me over there if you haven't already, and I'll give you the details on that uh, as soon as I get to a point where I can figure it out. And uh, y'all have a great day. Go out and make something awesome. See you on the next one.